All right, I've got a little experiment here. I'm checking the balance of my prop. And uh, I did it just by feeling it and using some electrical tape. Like I've seen a couple other uh, individuals do, and it, uh, you can definitely feel the difference. But uh, I decided I wanted to see how the Pocket Pro oscilloscope with a piezo element tied to the plane would get a reading off of this. And I've got some pretty interesting findings. Okay, so I've got the tape off that I used to balance it. And then uh, I'm going to go ahead and ramp this up, and you can watch the, uh, specifically the peak-to-peak uh, -peak voltage is the value that is kind of relevant to uh, see how bad the vibration is. The higher the number, the more the vibration. So let me go ahead and ramp up the speed, and we can watch that as we go. And you can see how high it gets with no, uh, no weighting on the prop. So I wanted to show you what settings I'm currently using. I got... Uh, 100 millivolts per division and 50 millisecond uh, time base. And also on the uh, trigger type, I'm just using free run on this one. Uh, I did put a trigger in there, it doesn't really need it for this. So here we go. So let me go ahead and add the the weights back to it, and then we'll see how big of a difference it makes. And I found two little strips about that big on one side of the prop, just spread out, not stacked up. One on the inside, one on the outside. Got me pretty good results. So let's repeat it now, and we'll see what kind of peaks we get. So as you can see on the oscilloscope, you know, and I can also tell by feeling it, that made a huge difference. Uh, you know, on the scope, it was basically cut the vibration in half. Uh, and I don't know if any of you guys have tried to balance these AeroScout props, but they have a square hub. So like a Dubro prop balancer doesn't really work on it. You can't get it to balance in the middle because there's no center hole. So you kind of got to just feel it. But uh, I thought that was a pretty interesting test to put the little piezo element on there to measure the vibration and see it on the so you can tap on the thing and you can see the effect of that it looks for any vibration so that's pretty cool and uh, another demonstration of uh, the pocket pro oscilloscope voltimeter unit thing's pretty awesome haven't done a video on it for a while but uh, I got a couple others in the playlist if you're interested take a look at those too but uh, that is a cool test and the ability to measure vibrations like that. Pretty handy. Alright, let's do another run here with the uh, oscilloscope running. Start a screen capture. Make sure our peak to peak voltage is on. Let's go ahead and look at frequency. And we'll start that. Now I'm going to run the throttle up, and we'll be able to see the vibration there.
any comments uh, put them in the in the comment box below and please like and subscribe thanks for watching